All right, hi everyone, Sayonic. Um, so we're doing actually a plate house group soon. So what this is, it's a uh, it's a spot in Kill Drackle where you kill these giants and they drop special items. I can show you. P99 corroded. So they drop these. Uh, what we're talking about is Thurgonet armor. So you get these pieces that drop, like these. So they drop in Plate House, and then you turn in three special gems. And then you get a piece of armor. And for Thurgonet, you need Kindly Faction. So this is some of the Bard armor. Um, I mean, it's okay. I mean, that, that's definitely an upgrade. BP's an upgrade. Uh, mm, only the BP and the Greaves. I would imagine a lot of people are going to roll for it. But uh, anyways, yeah. Do it in uh, Playhouse. So right now I'm in Sky Shrine, I'm gonna be running on over. It's really weird though, like the music's. There we go. Let me see if I can show you guys some of the highlights in this zone. Uh, so, Awakening Lands, I, I call it the Jurassic Park zone. It's got like tiger raptors, fairy dragons, uh, these like monkey, the whole Gresh is these like monkey things, giants. Dragons, it's it's kind of ridiculous. Oh, rock guys, geos. <laughs> like if there anything is if there's anything in the game, it's probably here. Um. So in this zone, you have to be a bit careful if you're gonna be porting in, because there's Woshi, this one dragon. I can see if I can bring it up. That if you're not allied to Claws of Ishan. Woshi will wreck you. Most people don't kill Woshi too because it's not that good drops. I think Roland Doll's for a quest. You can use Roland Doll actually to check your faction. So what people will do is they'll kill giants. You have the Kale entrance. And uh if they're if they don't know what their faction is, they'll go run a, run to Roland Doll following the north wall of the zone and con him and then see if they got to the point where they need. So the whole point of the faction though is that you need ally faction in Sky Shrine, Claws of Ishan, if you want to turn in those uh, uh, flawless pieces of armor or something. If you want to turn in the unadorned plate armor or whatever, the unadorned armors. And for Thurgoodin, you only need Warmly Faction, I believe. But what's unique, what's nice, is you can actually kill the Giants and get Faction for both Thurgoodin and for Claws of Ishan. Um, now, Kale also has its own Faction. Most people don't seem to do it, though. You kill mobs in West TOV for it. This is a camp I commonly do, Suits of Sentient Armor. Level 45 mobs, I charm kite them. I'll show that at a later date. How to charm kite as a bard. But one of the cool things about this zone is you go charm kite and then you can run over here and go sell. Here it is. So this is the entrance to Plane of uh, Growth. I believe this is where Karana is. Really cool looking area. 
So, and also, this is where some, where the uh, Velius ports are for Wizards and Druids. They come off of this guy right here. Yep. Now, if you go to the top, and you click on the thing that sounds like it's... Sounds like someone's like messing with shrink wrap or something. But if you click on this, it takes you to Plane of Growth. But anyways, we're going to Kale, so we need to go which direction? Not north. East. Yeah, we're going east. So, uh once you get more used to the game, you kind of learn your way around zones where you don't really need a map so much anymore. Alright, so now we're coming up to Kale. Here are those Holgreshes, these monkey guys. They look really... <laughs> They look dumb. <laughs> they look really dumb. Um, so it looks like there's a faction group going on right now. So uh, what people do is they'll pull all sorts of different giants that spawn around. And they pull it right here to the entrance of Kale and basically just beat chicken shit. <laughs> That's a good name, I gotta tell him that. So yeah, people just uh, kill these giants normally and it boosts your uh, faction. Uh, to Claws of Ishan and um, whatever it might be. And Thurgan. So again, uh, Kale is considered an indoor zone, so you can't cast any movement speed buffs in there. So you want to cast it prior to zoning in. Let's see. Uh, all right. Okay, so now we're... going let's see now I have a raid twist I have it depends if I'm in a healer group or I'm not I don't feel clericky. Dispel occlusion of sound and fulfill. A reaver? No, that's not a cleric. <laughs> okay, so let me cast my buffs on me. So some of the clickies, I've got these turtle shell boots. For turtle skin, it's a 9 AC buff. That lasts a pretty decent long time. 
This is for an insty click. Grimara. And that basically, if you get dispelled, it, it helps you out. Yeah, it's getting a little crowded with all the names. Um, I got this, which is a damage shield. This summer summons throwing hammers. Uh, the Kazuki ring, which I've already shown. The eye is on for pulling. And I think that's kind of it. I, I mean, I have all my illusion stuff, too. Let's see, what illusion do I want to do? Let's do the werewolf one. So let me look up Kale. So I think where we're going... Where's Plate House? I don't know, but I, if I remember correctly... It's 11, so it's right here. So right now we're here and we're going to be running to four way and going south. Okay. Looks like we're just going to be invising through. Oh, someone's killing up here. Can hear some damage taken by some of the giants. I think Helma knows what she's doing. Right, this is where I think you have to be careful because some of the mobs see invis. Yeah, the Sentinels, they see Invis.
know what? I'm gonna melee. I really don't have any melee buffs up, but. One of the cool things about this particular illusion, the werewolf illusion, is it uh, boosts your attack speed. And I think it also boosts your strength. So you can see uh, when you kill these guys, Coldang gets better, Comrif Comsec goes down, and Claws of Ishan goes up. Kitten didn't know. So I'm trying to get all the uh, casters in the same group so I can give them mana regen. Seeing it as we're going. So there's two different main fit response there's a couple different responsibilities bards have during raids. I mean this isn't a real full on raid, but uh bards in a caster group. The main responsibility is mana regen. So right now I'm twisting HP mana and three pulses just so I get peak mana back and sometimes I'm twisting the second stackable HP regen which is Nivs and one of the things I do uh, one of the things I also do when I'm in a caster group is I do something called occlusion of sound which is an unresistible uh, lowering of buffs, lowering of resists. Of, uh, so 22 minus for ice resist, I'll show. Six, seven, eight. So it's uh, 
22 to cold, minus for magic resist, cold resist, and fire resist. And it is unresistible. And then the next thing I'll do... Well, first I dispel. I dispel first to get any buffs that they have off. I... Guys, all caps. <laughs> um, I first dispel, then I use occlusion of sound, which is the unresistable uh, resist reduction, and then I use uh, Fufil's curtailing chant, which is a dot, but it has a mild magic resist on it, 36 points. It can be resisted, so I just give it a shot. But if not, whatever. So that's what I do in a resist group. Uh, well, not a resist group, but a caster group. Whereas if I'm in a melee group, uh, the twist that I'll typically do is the damage yield twist that I showed in uh, the hole. And then the only other real thing that I might do, um, depending on the situation, is put in a uh, resist twist. So what that is, is it's typically guardian rhythms for the magic resist and elemental or purifying rhythms, uh, depending on which ones you need, which type of res resist you need. So you put the percussion instrument on and take a look at the resist from this. So right now I'm at 75 magic resist. Did I do both? Yeah, look at that. Practically from 75 of the 231, nearly max. Huge boost in resist. And that's a big function that Bard's student raids. They uh, help out dramatically when it comes... to uh, when it comes to uh, resisting AoE dots and AoE uh, damage uh, spells from other mobs. Very useful. So this is actually plate house, it looks like. So we just kill these mobs, and they should drop plate pieces, actually. The corroded plate armor. Now, typically people sell them, actually, for MQs, for money, as well. So there we go. So I made a macro there, you can see um, it calls it out on how, when people should cast their own songs. Or cast their own spells. So I'm going to focus on magic regen here. Ooh. Got blasted up in the air. Part of raiding too is making sure that you have efficient groups. Like the bard class is really wasted in raids if it's not being grouped in some fashion, if it's not a full group. So even though it may be a little bit annoying, I uh, try to get on people to join. This circlet is really in smoke.
Hmm, what's this? So we got some drops. Dragon hide belt. I should probably press the home key. Looks like it's nothing, it's just a piece of armor. <laughs> See what he's doing. Oh, there's a couple more. Some other people showed up. Oh geez, if you sit down for one second, they come and attack you. Let me see. I need to help him out. Yeah, I'll put a haste on. So, in this particular circumstance, I'm using Vilius. course because it has a higher um, level of haste than McVaxius and the damage shield really isn't needed here because I don't think that poison is really going to be the tank so the big part about playing bard is just being flexible changing your twist Thank you. 
change up my twist. I'm gonna switch to my grouping one. Yeah, this is it. Okay, so healing goes here. Is is three. And I need Vilias for number one. And Psalm of Cooling. No, I want Psalm of Warmth because these are Krom's X, they do cold resist. Uh Pulse Charm. Charm isn't going to work, I don't think, or the Mezes, but you know, why not? We'll just have it up and snare. Let me actually shrink everybody in the group. Try this. I'm gonna try to fear kite them. This is gonna be really weird, but whatever. Yeah, I don't think it's going to work. Their resists are actually too high. So, one of the reasons I'm using Vilias instead of another haste is because of stacking issues. The primary weapon I have equipped right now, which comes from Plane of Sky, the Harmonic Sphere, the Harmonic Spear, it, uh, its proc only stacks with Vilias and not uh, Versus a Victory. So that's the big reason why I'm not doing something else. So the weapons I'm using right now can show you guys all. So uh, I use a harmonic spear as my primary. I use either the symphonic saber. I use that when I'm trying to reduce my aggro generation, or I use the journeyman's walking st walking stick when I'm trying to uh, help lower the resists on mobs, so that casters can land their stuff. What's cool about this werewolf, Loot of the Howler, is it uh, it's primary equip.
Did I hurt my faction killing that guy? No, I guess not. He has no faction. Dolgan Stormwielder. What do you do? Doldigan. Sign wielder. Uh, oh, it's for the ninth. Huh. So I think one of the things about doing this particular area of the plate house is that the giants really aren't mezzable um, so crowd control beyond rooting really just goes out the window so this is a big reason why shamans are so important for this particular one shamans with their uh, with their torpor spell if, I, if I'm correct has a huge amount of slow on mobs which makes it so that they'll only hit like one time every minute or so. Which helps a lot for tanking. So I'm going to keep this video going until I get at least, how long is it, 40 minutes? I'm going to uh, see if we get an armor drop so I can kind of show what this place actually drops. So I'm actually going to swip to this Tashani journeyman stick because it these guys have a lot of they have a pretty high resist and it can be hard to land spells on them so it helps out a lot when um, when you lower the resist for like the the shaman trying to cast torpor on them or whatever it might be. Oh, Corroded Plate Greaves. Oh, that's a big upgrade for me. Oh, I got a good roll. I got a 506. I might win it. I might win it.
Woot! A big upgrade. That was <laughs> that's something. Well, I mean, not a dramatic upgrade, but still, it's it's better than these stupid leggings I've been wearing for the longest time. Yes! That's a nice upgrade. <laughs> Did I loot it? Let's see. <laughs> Charlie's friend has rolled a zero. <laughs> That's so bad. Okay, that's all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. You can kind of see how it works. Um, for a lot of these play groups, they're sort of pick up and there's not really formal guild events. So you just set up the roles. Uh, you can see how I did it myself. You just see how uh, you set up a role yourself, call it out three times, and good to go. Fortunately, these corpses last longer. I think they're about 30 minutes as opposed to normal. Cor Some of the corpses only last about seven. So you kind of have to rush with those. But this isn't really an example of DKP bidding, just uh, uh, just standard randoming, typically need before greed. But thank you guys all, and I will see you next video.